Hey community group leaders, I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to, quick video, just kind of walk through how to use Multiply, when to start, just that kind of stuff. Some of you guys have been coming with questions, so I thought I'd just put together a little dorky video and be an opportunity for uh, us to kind of learn how to use this together. So um, I hope first off all of you guys have gotten your books. If you don't have them or if you don't have enough, just come talk to me, email me, church can get more. Um, try as best as you can to collect $10 per book from the people in your community groups, but if a couple only wants to pay 10 either way, just make sure that everybody in your group has their own book. I know some couples are going to be like, we'll share, that kind of thing. Um, without going into too much detail, I found that sometimes that can be an excuse for not doing a study. So to kind of remove that from people, what we're going to do is just have everybody have a book and don't worry about the cost. If couples just want to pay 10 bucks, that's totally fine. Um, so this book is designed to be used across 24 weeks. It's kind of the best practices. Um, if I were leading the group, what I would do is kind of there's parts and then each part has like different sections. When I finish a part, like part one, um, what I would do is at that point, um, I would go in and at the end of it, maybe take a week, do a potluck, do a fellowship night, just to kind of give everybody a breath. And that will also during those nights, you can kind of debrief what has God been doing? What are some things? Share some testimonies about how God's kind of been challenging you or things that you've seen God do. Um, and then what we're going to do is um, all together at the end of the series, we're going to gather up testimonies and we're going to share kind of what God has been doing through these um, 24 weeks as we study it. Um, another great kind of best practice for using this is make sure that people show up having already read it. I know that seems self-explanatory, but a lot of people will show up thinking maybe you're gonna read through the highlights and then answer the questions together. So just make sure people are reading ahead. Um, there's two main resources that kind of go along with this. Um, it's really one resource, but it's in two different locations, whichever you prefer. Um, whether you wanna go through the church's Right Now Media, if you have a, a Right Now Media account with the church, there's an already built out study guide that includes videos that go along with the study. If you can't find it there or whatever, for whatever reason that's not working, you can always go to multiplymovement.com and they have videos as well. If I were running a small group, the best thing that I would do is play the video at the beginning of group. It's basically a six to eight minute video and it's just a discussion between two pastors, um, one of them being the author, Francis Chan, and the other being um, a guy by the name of David Platt. And they're all they're doing is they're just kind of discussing what the highlight of that week is. and kind of talking through some of the implications that come from scripture, some of the things that are hard, that are challenging, and just kind of talking through some of the wisdom that they've gained across the years as being pastors in how to really put some of the things that we're going to be learning together into practice in their own lives as well as the lives of their churches. Um, so that's a great way to maybe start each of the group weeks, um, each of the studies, and then kind of moving into the discussion questions found in here. There's also some extra discussion questions on the Right Now Media page kind of built into that. So if you want to use those as extra material, you can. Um, other than that, I just wanted to say that I'm praying for you guys, um, and I'm excited to see what God does through this. And if you have any questions, if you need any help, each week what I'm going to do is try to put one of these out, maybe on Sunday night or Monday morning, just kind of as an encouragement to you guys. I'm going to do a little video, talk through kind of what we're going to be doing that week in the book, where we're at, and just maybe sharing some of the things that God's doing in my heart, because I'm going to be walking through this, guys, uh, through this book with you guys. Um, so please feel free, don't be stranger. If you have any questions, if you need any help, let me know. But I'm excited, I'm praying, and let's just start this week um, and the next two weeks um, really kind of preparing in prayer as well as in conversation for our people to get into this. The official start for this is going to be the first week of February. So whenever your group meets, whatever the first group meeting that you have, community group meeting that you have in the month of February, that's kind of when we want to start this, just so that we're all on a similar schedule. But if you need to start a week earlier, a week later, that's not a big deal. Um, what I'm going to do for at least the young adult community group that we're kind of, my wife Grace and I are kind of help lead, um, we're going to take the next two weeks and kind of go through what is the Great Commission and talk through that, kind of what Tracy talked about this week. And then we're going to just kind of do a week where we familiarize people with the material before we actually start. That's what we're doing. You don't have to do that. Feel free, improvise, use your own stuff. Um, I'm excited for y'all and I'm praying for you guys. And just keep up, keep in contact. If you guys need anything, if you need any help, that's why I'm here. So love y'all. Hope y'all are having an awesome, awesome time getting your groups excited for this. 
and excited to see what God does. Y'all have a great day. Bye.